As we prepared to leave Baldhead Island, we discovered a stowaway on the bridge. I told the dove we're headed to New York, and she promptly flew off. Leaving the harbor, we head north in the Cape Fear River, then into Snow's Cut, where we pick up the Intracoastal again. As we steamed closer to Wrightsville Beach, we found the boaters in this area to be socially awkward. Typically, we'd give a friendly wave to fellow boaters, and you'd get a wave back. Not in Wrightsville Beach. A majority of the boaters in this area were not courteous, passing within a few feet of us and not making eye contact. Very weird. We're curious if any other cruisers have found the same hospitality in this area. As we waited for the bridge opening, we explored Mott's Channel. Not realizing how hard the tide was running, we nearly missed the opening we were waiting for. This area has many shallow inlets to the Atlantic Ocean where boaters party hard on the sandbars. We arrived at Harbor Village Marina. This is a family-run marina that is well protected where we will leave the real grace for a few weeks as we borrow my niece's car and drive back to Long Island to deal with reality. Harbor Village Marina is meticulously kept in a residential area. There are no restaurants here or in walking distance, so be prepared to provision accordingly. While in New York, a tropical storm threatened the marina. The competent staff here made sure the real grace was secure and safe. I'll leave a link in the description for the marina. When we return from New York, we will head to Swansboro, North Carolina. Thanks to Marine Mate and Lindenhurst for making this trip possible. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube.